teach inside the robot to throw a ball with calculus. Suppose position is given by p of t. Velocity is given by the derivative of position and acceleration by the derivative of velocity. An object in flight is described by two sets of functions, position, velocity, and acceleration in the x and y directions. In the x direction, there is no acceleration, so velocity is constant and position is linear. In the y direction, acceleration is constant, so velocity is linear and position is quadratic. Our robot is a rotating arm mounted on a stand of height h with radius r. At launch angle, the initial position is r cos theta, r sine theta plus h. The initial velocity we can get by differentiation. Here we see an animation of the robot in action. It rotates at a fixed speed and releases the ball at the correct angle. The ball flies through the air and lands. This leaves us with several good questions. What's the maximum range? What rotation speed and launch angle will hit the target? And given rotation speed k, how much variation in launch time is acceptable? This is Psy, the throwing robot. Psy is controlled by this control unit here. That's the VEX microprocessor. And the cables are connecting several places. So I'll back out so we can see more of it. The blue cylinder is the battery pack. And if we turn the machine here, we can see the motor and this red assembly is the shaft encoder which senses the position of the shaft as the arm turns. Now let's look at the arm. The arm mounts a little electromagnet. That's that cylindrical unit there on the end which captures the nut before we launch. And power to the electromagnet is transmitted by this slip ring. This is a neat device. It's actually a mercury-filled bearing which transmits electricity. That's connected through that safety switch to... Let's see if I can get in and show you... This little circuit build custom. That's a relay transistor. And we've calculated the parabolic flight path of the nut, given a rotation speed of 110 RPM. That's there on the graph paper. Let's see what happens.